Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy on Kurt with Joe and I'm back at it again with another video. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, and share, and hit the notification bell so that you get my videos first, you can like first, you can comment first. And let me die down a little bit. This bit, hold on y'all. Oh, okay, so anyway, this is a video that I have not wanted to make again, right? Now, I'm gonna go downstairs. And I'm gonna show y'all exactly what happened to the Mustang. Matter of fact, let's go ahead and go now. I hope y'all uh, had a good weekend. For those of you who went to Streetcar Takeover, I hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. I hope you guys had a lot of fun. I hope you did a lot of racing. Um, I really, I saw a couple people out there. I didn't see as many people as I thought I would. But for the ones that I did see, I appreciate y'all for y'all support. Standing with Joe, Only One Brown, Only One Brown Bear, Mr. 1320, Lon Team. Standing with all of us throughout this whole entire journey. Because like I said, this is not easy. Things happen during this journey, during the course of us trying to get to where we want to be. And whether it is me on a YouTube channel or Ryan at work or Corey on this business he's starting and whatever it is, things are gonna happen. So for y'all to be supporting and keeping us grounded at all times, that's very, very, very important to us. Let's go ahead and go see the damage. Let's see. Now to be honest with y'all, right? I could file this on insurance, but I'm not. I'm gonna tell y'all why. Because is the damage is cheap. It's it's not as bad as it looks on camera. I guess it's fixable. I can come out of pocket and fix this just fine, no problem. I just want a blue. I can come out of pocket and fix this just fine, no problem. So that's what I'm planning on doing. Let me just go ahead and show y'all the wheel right here. Look at that. God damn. Look at that crap, bro. It's chunked. It is chunked, bro. Like, this ain't even... You know what I'm saying? Like, it's a whole chunk of the wheel missing. It's gone. It disappeared. It's gone. Bye-bye. Like, it's... That, I need a whole new damn wheel. So, that's what happened on this side, right? The rest of the car is fine. It's fine. No big deal. Come over here. This side's fine. All that's fine. Then you come in here. And here we go. This is the fucking problem. This is the fucking problem right here. Look at that. Look at this. Let me go ahead and step inside so y'all can see. Ugh. You look back here. The whole headliner just, you know what I'm saying? Like it's, it's literally, boom. You look up here, it blew this piece out, which that's fine. You know what I'm saying? Same thing over there. The is no like I don't think there's no frame damage or like that. We're gonna go get it. I'm gonna put it on the lift probably Saturday and check it out. It's not frame damage. I don't think so. I've had frame damage in the car before. It's you can still start it up. I drove it home. You know what I'm saying? Let me tell y'all what happened, right? I done man just having fun in these cars. One thing about this car life, right? And a lot of people are like, boy, I can't believe you did that. Let me tell y'all something, right? Yes, it was stupid. I could have been at home, out of my business, doing whatever I could have been doing, playing the game, whatever it is. But the thing is, you know what I'm saying, it's a part of having these cars and we want to have fun. Yes, you should, I should be, have been more responsible. I will say that. I will hold myself accountable. But when you having fun with these cars, man, you got to know what comes with it. I know that when I do certain stuff in this car, this, you know what I'm saying, this will come with that. You know what I mean? Like, it's just one of those things when you, when you, for people that indulge in illegal activities, you know what could happen when you get into those activities. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can actually, like I said, I drive the car. I want y'all to hear something real quick though. Listen. Y'all hear that? It's like a squeaking noise. I don't know. Only one brown bear said my rotor may be cracked. I think it's either my control arm or my axle that is messed up. That's what I'm thinking. Which, to be honest, I'm not gonna say it's not a big deal, but I will be getting that replaced anyway for when I go ahead and go with the power mods on the car. Now, I'm not gonna make this an insurance claim. Why? Because with my airbags being deployed, they're gonna total this car. That's what's gonna happen. They're gonna total the car. Um, with the other damage on the car, it's, it's going to total. It's a 2017. It's not brand the fuck new. Like, it was used when I got it. 42,000, 43,000 miles. If I were to call insurance, they're going to total this car because of the airbags. Now, what I will be doing is 
coming out of pocket to fix this car because I can go and buy a new wheel. Actually, I'm gonna go with a new set of wheels all the way around the car. Um, I can go to I can go ahead and buy new wheels. I can buy a new headliner. You know what I'm saying? Like I can pay for all of this, but if you put on insurance and they total your car, that's a whole process of BS that you gotta go through just to get your car back. You see what I'm saying? And I'm not gonna go through that with them. So like I said, the wheels, I'm gonna get that. The control arms and the axles, I'm buying that anyway. To be honest with y'all, it's not gonna cost that much to get this car back to how it was before it even happened. I'm just gonna keep it a boat, y'all. It's not gonna cost that much. My tires are not popped. Um, honestly, I could just buy one wheel. I don't have to buy all four, you know what I'm saying? That I think one wheel costs like 300 bucks because of the performance package wheels. So I don't even have to go through all of that. I may or may not buy all wheels, one wheel. I'll let y'all know. But it's an inconvenient situation. But the way I look at it is like this. You have to find positive and every negative. Now when this happened, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I got out of the car and I laughed. I laughed. But not because it's funny, not because it's a damn joke. I laugh because it's like, you can get mad, you can blow it up, you can do all this kind of stuff, but what the hell is gonna fix? Joe, I'm mad at myself. I did this, you see what I'm saying? But in the day, I have fun, man. I'm, I'm, I can breathe, my arms work. You know what I'm saying? The airbag pop right here, could have broke my ribs. This one right here, I'm talking about, I still can't hear all the way, like in my left ear. It hurt, that shit hurt. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. And I, I think I kind of like blacked out for like a couple seconds when it hit me. Cause when it hit me, I was like, I, I, it dazed me. And I was fine. You see what I'm saying? Like everybody's fine. Like I, I'm not in a position to where my body's not functioning right. You know what I'm saying? I still have a car that I can drive up and down the street if I need to. You see what I'm saying? If I got to go to Walmart right there, I can still do that. If I need to go to the uh, emergency room right now and get there quickly. I can do that. You see what I'm saying? So I will not sit here and frown and pout all fucking day because my car's beat up. You know what I'm saying? And I want y'all to take the same approach to whatever it is that you're doing. Stuff gonna happen. Life's gonna happen. My boy Corey, um, Mr. Who that thirteen twenty and only one brown bear. They got on my ass earlier. You see what I'm saying? I may not want to hear it. I may have had rebuttal, but at the end of the day, those are my real guys. You know what I'm saying? A couple of my real guys. So they're gonna tell me like it is, and I'm gonna sugarcoat it, you know what I'm saying? And that's what you gotta look for with the people around you. They're not your cheerleaders, you know what I mean? And your dogs, and they supposed to treat you accordingly, you know what I'm saying? Not just be like, ha, no, that's not cool, you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm glad you're all right, but bro, what the fuck were you doing? That's how you gotta be with your, with your guys, man, with your friends, the girls, whoever it is. Relationship, platonic relationship, romantic relationship, whatever it is, they're not around you to, to encourage you and support you and tell you when you're right and wrong, then the wrong people to have around you. But like I said, y'all, so there are stuff coming with this car. It's pretty much going to turn to a rebuild series just to keep it a book. You know what I'm saying? So I'm looking forward to it. I'm excited about it. Um, to be honest with y'all, with a little about with a little bit of work that needs to be done on the car, the shit can be done in like a month and a half for because shipping and buying yeah it, it won't take long a headliner itself it does not cost that much honestly this headliner is fine so just on some you can cut the airbag out and put the headliner back up there and you straight you know what i mean like there are ways around it so since the no one was called i was able to get their home safe and sound and get inside and regroup i'm going to make the best of this experience and turn it into a positive i will not allow it to be negative at any given time you know what i'm saying i'm blessed that shit, this this hurt i'm not i'm gonna be honest with you this it, it honestly the impact hurt to be to keep it a book and to tell you what happened you know what i'm saying doing donuts man doing donuts. i'm going clockwise clockwise counterclockwise and when i i but when i realized i was engulfed in smoke i couldn't see in front of me so i'm trying to lay 11s out of the donut and i hit the curb and boom as soon as i hit the curb everybody just rocked you know what i'm saying like so that's what i'm saying it could have been so much worse i could have the whole wheel and tire could have been sideways i could have flipped the car over man i never sit around here and be upset about what happened you know what i'm saying but i just want to let you guys know what's going on with joe um of course i'm not gonna stop um <clears throat> stay tuned for everything that's going on for those of you who checked on me and try to see what was up with joe i appreciate y'all for those of you who try to see if i was good i appreciate y'all man but until next time i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'm just putting you guys into what i got going on in my life 
And I, like I said, just know that I'm regular just like you and I have problems like everybody else. So until next time, I love you all from the bottom of my heart. I just crossed over 9,000 subscribers. I love you all for that. I'm appreciative. I'm grateful. And until next time, I'll see you on the next one. Peace.